Okay, so these DJI Osmos, they don't. Osmos, it's Osmos 2. Maybe it's just the Osmos. It's got this double stack thing. This one's a pain in the ass. The one that doesn't have the forward facing screen uh, lights up no matter what until it gets hot. Cold, not such a big deal. Throw it in your pocket, hit the button and it goes. But anyway, we're back here at the 4430, the 4430. It's cold out today, kind of raw. Um, I'm gonna go over what I've got for it because I did get belts. I got the th three belts for it. Uh, this pump, right? That pump. There was supposed to be a, there it is. A little cocksucker, right there it is. So that's, that's what I was looking for. Cool, I knew there was something else I needed. So these two pieces here go together. These are the seal for the steering motor in the bottom there. That, that steering arm up above that is a, a pillow block. And uh, that needs to be, I don't know if it's a pillow block or not, but anyways, a seal and an O-ring. Uh, I bought this little pump here because the other day when we drug it in here, I tried pumping this thing. I even took it off of there. And now I can feel that there's actually pressure building there. So a lot of guys, <coughs> excuse me, a lot of guys say, oh yeah, just you gotta try it before, before you put the money into it. We're gonna do the opposite just for theatrical um, purposes. I personally am not going to start this thing before I'm ready and I'm not ready because there's a couple problems with it that that pillow block has a hydraulic oil leak and it has leaked all the hydraulic oil out of it um, I do see something leaking there since we drug it in so I'm gonna have to track down that oil leak uh, so I don't want to put fresh hydraulic oil into it until I have that fixed and I'm not gonna start it until I have hydraulic oil in it so this rear tire here these tires need to be replaced, obviously. I've already said this a couple of times, replacing the rims on the back, replacing the tires on the front. I'm gonna paint those front tires. This axle here has a bearing out. I've said it before, I've, I'm gonna say it again. Uh, the axle and the seal have to be replaced. You can see that the, the rim has a bunch of oil around it. There's Grant. So, the air cleaner, look at this crap. It's just full of crap. So I got to clean that out. I'm going to take this. We had put a, a secondary filter in there. Um, and we're going to take it back out. I'm actually going to throw it away because it's old and rusty. And I don't know if there's anything in there that could cause a problem. So I'm just going to get rid of that. I have the new filter here. This filter here. And the inner filter is here. So we'll just go ahead and set those to the side. I'm gonna clean that air box out. I don't know why they call it a box, because it's round. But uh, that air cylinder, I'm gonna clean that out of there uh, with a scraper and some air. And we'll, you can watch me do that if you want. Then, um, if you take a gander over here, you can see that there's a couple of hose clamps here that shouldn't be there. There's actually a piece of pipe that I stuck in there when the air compressor pump, I think it failed because it is locked up tighter than a pig's ass right now. That will have to be replaced. Don't want to replace that yet, but I'm going to replace this hose. <coughs> replace the hose, replace the belt. I have the bushings for the pump. They were replaced not that long ago, but that's got to come apart anyway to replace the belt, so we're going to replace those. Uh, unfortunately, I forgot to grab those when I was out of deer. So I've got the hoses, upper and lower. I have the oil filter, I have the engine oil filter. So this is hydraulic oil filter, engine oil filter, and the two glass filters. And we're gonna go ahead and do those first. Just for the, just for the gits and shiggles of it, we're gonna go ahead and do that first. I do have two batteries, I've put them in. I've put them in, but you know, again, uh, there's just so much stuff that needs to be done to it. This is a Napa filter. I have a deer filter I'm going to put on. This is the Napa filter that goes on there. But I just felt, you know, why not just give it the proper love that she deserves. Uh, going to need to replace this dipstick because this dipstick is out of 
a different tractor, the 4960 I do believe, and it is the one that burned. And what happens is there, it burns the plastic out of it, not even the right dipstick. So I'm just going to put in the proper amount of oil that belongs in this thing. So Grant, go ahead and find a bucket to drain this oil out into. Uh, I do believe this thing takes like eight gallons or so. I don't remember, but I'm going to look it up. This is not the original engine in it. Uh, if you remember back on my channel years ago, like in the beginning, uh, we had a visitor to the farm that, that did some damage to some engines on the farm. And this was one of those engines that I decided not to rebuild. I had a spare in another machine. I talked about it already. I know there's some guys that think that I repeat myself a lot, but there's some people that don't watch every video and maybe they want to hear it again or maybe hear it for the first time. So this is not, I repeat, this is not a 404. This is a 466. So the 466 block and the 404 block are pretty much the same. Well, they are the same. Uh, differences in the sleeves, liners, and head. Or liners, pistons, and head. So, and of course, I do believe, I think the crank is different as well. But the block, everything on that block matches up to a 4430. So that's what we put in there and that's what we're going to do so i'm going to have grant go ahead and drain this out boy you want okay that'll work it's a one and an eighth inch wrench so while he's doing that i'm going to go ahead and pull that panel off of there and i'm just going to replace those fuel filters and if this pump does not work i've got a brand new one here right here it's good to have one of these on hand anyway so even if that one and that one did start to work i took it off I took it off and the, the guts came out of it and I put the guts back in it and it still wasn't working but today magically it's working. So this used to be a glass one and at one point somebody hit it with a hammer or a rock or something and actually broke that off of there. So the aluminum one is on there now. I liked the glass one personally but what we ended up getting was the aluminum one. So, oh. should be one and an inch, or one and a quarter, or one and a half, or one and, a, and an eighth. One and a quarter? Yeah. All right. Did somebody put a pipe wrench on that by any chance? No, there's just a bent to all shit. What is it? There's just a bent to all shit crush washer. I got a new crush washer for that. Yeah. They're cast iron oil pans on these. Watch him go flying on his ass. There you go. Got it? It tried to strip it. Did it try to strip it? Yeah, we can grab a socket. Yeah, get a socket. All right. I'm going to be quiet now. Take a look at that oil anyway. Ew, it's like molasses. Actually doesn't feel bad. Actually pretty slippery, almost like this oil was changed before it got parked. Which very well could be, but I didn't scratch a date in it. So yeah. Uh, I think I got some blue point uh, filter wrench I could pop that off of there with and we'll go ahead and put that filter on. I'm gonna, I'm there, I'm gonna knock this panel out. So you guys, I'm gonna hang out there for that, that was too easy. Hey look at that, a pair of ice grips, I wonder what the fuck that's there for. It's put on with a wire tie. Oh it's, it's that's some permanent. That's serious Afro engineering right there. Go ahead and pop that filter off. So this thing is, well you might want to open that up one more notch. And another one. You're tightening it, dude. 
Like you were born backwards, but I didn't think you would, you know, be backwards your whole life. So. <laughs> Yeah, keep tightening it and wonder why it won't come off. There you go. I have the I have the new um, That's the nice thing about a 55 gallon drum like that. The real killer about that is that the guy that made that used a torch to cut the handles. Has it drained? Uh yeah, there's still oil in there. That's all right. Dump it in. We'll be able to use that on our heater. Oh, yeah. Yeah, throw that in the garbage. All right. So, what do we got here? Oh, good. The, uh, the O-ring must have uh, stuck with it. That does not look like the right O-ring, personally. Doesn't feel like the right one. Seems a little bit thin, don't you think? Now, let me take that off. Ugh. What do you mean there's no O ring on there? Oh, you mean that thing's still in there? Yeah. Oh, shit. No? There you go. Well, I guess it isn't. Well, it ain't there either, so there's an O ring someplace. It fell off? Okay, good. Yeah, that's a really thick one. This is a really thin one. Yeah, that ain't the right one. No, 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 I got new ones. Sometimes when you get these parts, you know, when you buy one of these filters from, say, Napa, they come with both O-rings. I'm sure I have another one of those. I usually hang them. Usually hang them up here. I might have to reuse that one. Where's it at? I'm missing that. What? That O-ring. Throw it back in there. Nothing's torn on it. Doesn't even look dry right. No. Well, we'll reuse it. I got a, I got a paper towel here. I love this. We'll just stick that thing right to wherever. Where's that pressure washer? Huh? You got a new one? Well, yeah. Well, you said you did. I'm sure I do. But don't take it off until you find it. In the toolbox. Up in them upper drawers there, there's a whole bag of them. What'd you do? I still think you're guilty as fuck about something. I don't know. You did something. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to find out. No idea what it is. not do anything. Something. You did something. You don't volunteer to do anything ever. I'm just wondering what the hell you're up to. I'm going to work on the trailer for a while. Yeah. I have to do it anyway because the tires are going to be removed with the load. Oh, look at that. You know what? I know. It's my... It was not the wrong... It was not the wrong one. It wasn't. It's for, it's for, that O-ring is for the other oil filter, the hydraulic oil filter. Let me get that out of there and I'll get back to it. Huh? One's in there or glass? Why?
the problem with this tractor is that this is a 466 it's not the 404 but it's the same filter thankfully oh yeah because it's a different uh, brown though it just came out Get me one of those pens. I gotta write the date on it. Um, all right. So the next thing, next thing is these glass filters. I'm just gonna go ahead and take them off, replace them, and then I'll turn you back on when I start pumping them. All right. So I've given it a couple of pumps, and you'll see it's pumping. I'm actually kind of surprised. I don't know what I paid for this little, little primer pump but I can't imagine it was very cheap. What shocks the hell out of me is that it did not work at all. It didn't work at all. Now the original one on the old engine was an unturned twisted and then it was not spring loaded and it was really sore on your hands by the time you were done. But you'll watch this fuel here come up through the paper pretty soon. These little hand pumps work really good or primer pumps do work pretty good. Hopefully, we can have this through there. All of a sudden, it should just come up. I'm hoping it comes up through there. Could be that there's no check valve on that now. Oh, wait. Here it comes gonna come through the far one first and then through this one second yeah that's pretty good nice and clean that's nice and clean I don't have any air sometimes well this thing hasn't run in 10 years good all right figure that this thing hasn't run in what nine I think we got it at nine years Joe was born in 2000 he was the last one to run it uh, we had the tether on it uh, I'm not sure if we drove it from the barn to where it set It hasn't been. That was like six years. Really? It was it was running there then? Well it was running then, but we weren't using it for the I don't remember this thing running. I think it's been out there for a lot longer now. Anyways, go back at my YouTube videos. You tell me how long it's been sitting there. Because I know that it broke in 2014. No, yeah, 2014. Joe was 14. So that's nine years ago. It's hard to believe, but yeah. What did you do? I had to dump it in there so I didn't have to... Oh, okay. Control. I don't know, that's fine. Alright, so that's up. Uh, next is get me a nice clean filter or funnel because we're going to be dumping oil in here. I need to know how much oil goes into a 466. John Deere 466. I would say 4440 engine, that's what it would be. So the 466 engine was not... Uh, produced after the 404 they were produced at the same time because uh, this was an industrial engine this engine came out of a Roscoe Brown brown bear and that Roscoe Brown brown bear was 1974 it was two years newer than me um, hard to believe you know that's like 48 40 49 years ago that engine's technically 49 years old. You got that filter? Or that funnel? He's got one here. Is it clean? It, no. Is it it's yes or no? It's not. Yes or no? Not clean. Well, he's got one. You don't have to. You think that's going to No, no, no. That'll take forever. Day and next month, too. Yeah, it's actually clean. Clean as it gets, right? Do not, I will kick your ass into next year. That is 
my witness is you don't learn anything, do you? It makes it faster. You do it that way, it's no slurps. Watch. Watch. I don't really need this one. What do you mean? It's gonna gurgle out. Holy mother of Mary and Joseph. Get the camera. Show how much this thing is blurbing. Go ahead. I want to, I want to, you know. So what Tim will do is he'll punch a hole in the, in the lid and then, you know, all the dirt can go inside here and yeah, yeah, yeah. gallon pail. Turn it this way. Pour from the top. Because if you do it this way, it just goes glug, glug, glug. Yeah. That's what he was trying to avoid. Now, to his defense, I used to punch a hole in the tops of these buckets till I learned that. Um, I would like a quart container from over there so I could get the rest of this oil out of here and pour it in there. It's in that garbage because we just changed oil in my truck. So, yeah, so that's what you're, that's how you do that. Now, you're not going to get a will it start today. You're not going to get a will it start tomorrow either. You're probably not going to get a will it start until I've got that rear axle uh, and this oil leak fixed. So, that's what you're going to get. I'm going to go ahead and get this. Do not. All right, whatever. I was that good. I'm gonna put the lid on there. And that's it. There was nothing left in it. Damn. Can you believe that? I didn't spill a drop. No fuss, no muss. Daddy did it all. I love that. Oh, and I did decide to use the John Deere Plus 52 um, premium engine oil. I don't know that it's any better or any worse, but this is a John Deere, so why not? I have no idea <coughs> what I paid for that, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't cheap. Oh, wait a minute. Let me see. I actually have the receipt here. Uh, tie guard. Oh, no, they didn't. I don't have the price list on this. I bought a high guard. You said what? Shake it. Shake it. Come on, shop dancer. Shop dancer. Yeah. All right. Take that. Cleaned out, proof we cleaned it out. We didn't just slam an old dirty freaking thing in there. That's new, it's blue. This is a brand new one. These are also John Deere. He should have the... That's not that type. It's a squeeze fit. I hate them damn thing. Them. Did that just slide right on there? Yeah. The fuck, did you lube it or drill it? I used to have to drill them fucking things, I swear to God. I only have 10% battery remaining. That's no good, so this video is about a wash. So we actually took these two apart as long as I've had this tractor in probably the last 35 years. We couldn't get that off. Where's the other thing? There's no top and bottom to that one. It is, that's it. One step closer to the next thing we're gonna do. And she's stealing my truck. Damn woman. Come on, come on. Finish it up. One step closer to the fire up, right Tim? One step closer to the fire up. So maybe I'll find a way to charge this thing and we'll go on to changing oil filters and uh, we got a hydraulic oil filter. You fucking touch it, I'll break your arm. I swear to Christ. We don't know, so we don't know. Um, <coughs> you could fuck up a wet dream, couldn't you? I swear to God. 
Mm. Amazing how fast that actually worked. Uh, so we've got this bucket about full of antifreeze. We've got that bucket's going to be pissing in there. Grant got the uh, pet cock to work. Obviously, it's not going to drain completely. Uh, we're going to be putting all new hoses on front, top, and bottom. These were new, actually, not that long ago, and that's Gates hose, so it's pretty good. I put them on, or yeah, there's one here, one there. I did that when I put that engine. Yeah, I think I did it after I did the engine, but I'm not going to worry about those. Probably going to be converting this over to that's actually an R12 system pump. That bitch has been around a while. <clears throat> but I'm probably going to convert that, put all new hoses on, and convert it to the Nippon Denso instead of that AC Delco. And uh, have air conditioning because that compressor is bad. Um, I don't know. I mean, these have this quick disconnect back here, right there. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. I'll see what Deer's solution is. There's got to be a solution to it. Well, th that'll run R134. It did, because I was running R134 through it. They do run R134, but you have to completely flush the system. And we did. Yeah, we did. There's flush up there. Yeah, I bought another set of it in case of something else. But anyway, yeah, so we're just going to go home, let that run out. And you can ponder this video if you want. Give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs down, give it a fuck you, and give it a whatever you want to do. It's your business, not mine. Just enjoy the damn thing. If you don't, get the fuck out. Just get the fuck out. I don't want you. Right? Uh -huh.